of Nick's parents, Ann and Gary. Where, where are they? <laughs> and of course, the lovely wedding couple. I want to thank everyone for being here uh, tonight and for this special occasion. We have people from Denver and Mississippi and India. Denver, Austin, Oklahoma City, Eugene, Oregon. <laughs> so, we've just got a wonderful gathering here uh, tonight. It's just great to have everybody. And it means so much to have our family here. And I wanted to particularly point out to have Wanda here, uh, Tracy's grandmother, and Dorothy. Where's Dorothy? And Dorothy here. And I've got to say, they're definitely the wisest from this whole crew. <laughs> and so I'd also like to thank all of Tracy and Nick's friends to be able to share just this wonderful moment here together. So I, uh, as you can well imagine, uh, I've been kind of thinking about this day ever since Tracy was born. With a certain sense of foreboding, yes. you know, knowing that I'm going to have to give away my girl. And we've had so much fun over the years and just shared so many things with her and our family that, you know, I just saw her grow up into a very sensible, and beautiful. Am I right? <laughs> and a beautiful young lady. But that sense of foreboding has really washed away. It's just fallen away. Because I think in you, Tracy, you found a perfect partner. I think you're very understanding, you're patient. A key, key. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really been Susie and our pleasure Nick, to get to know you and get to know his family and get to know all of Nick's relatives and friends and we hope to get to know them even better over the next few days and all the years to come. So it's just wonderful to have Nick as part of the So you know, I had to put this talk together. And you know, I don't know about you, but you sit down and you kind of go, well, okay, what are we gonna talk about here? And so I sat down and suddenly I was just flooded with all these memories of Tracy. It was just so much fun thinking about all the things that we had done together with her and her sister and family. It's just wonderful and great fun thinking about it. So, excuse me. I have a uh, great joy that Tracy brought to our lives. What would you like to say most of the time? 99% of the time. So I have a couple of stories I wanted to relate here tonight about Tracy and they're the ones that stick in my mind's eye to live with me forever. And the first story is Tracy was three at the time and Susie's mom was in the hospital and she was having our beautiful daughter number two, Carol, was born that day. And so my job is pretty simple. It was to go pick up Tracy at daycare and take her to the hospital to see her mom and new baby sister. And I picked up Tracy and it was a beautiful day. And she was like, hi dad, and she was all excited. And I said, Tracy, let's just whip home what you'd like to eat and then we'll go see mom. 
And she turns to me and said, Dad, I want to see Mom now. And I said, you know, okay, I'm pulling out of the parking lot, turning to the left to go home. And I say, Tracy, you know, just be a second. No problem. And she goes, I want to see Mom. <laughs> and so I said, but Tracy. And then that's when it happened. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 